This video is Theme Modeling and Simulation, Unit My Eye App. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to gain access to your questionnaire once you've closed it, how to edit your questionnaire if you've made any mistakes, and then how to distribute your questionnaire so that people can fill it in. So, I've logged into my Google Apps account. Now, depending on how you access your Google account, it might be through Google Apps or it might be through a generic username that everyone in the class uses. You might see a different screen to this. So once I've logged into my Google Apps and clicked on Documents, if you do use a Google Apps account, you are one user who has created one form. So you should just see one questionnaire here. If you are a, a class that uses the same username and password for everyone in the class, you would be one user for 24, 25, 26 students. So you should see that many different questionnaires here. If you are that sort of user, you need to find your questionnaire. You need to identify which of these is yours. Hopefully, you saved it with your name on the end, which would have been helpful. If not, you'll just need to flick through them and see what questions are, are yours. Now, on that note, you can see what I'm going to do now is click on my questionnaire here. And you'll see that what happens is it doesn't actually take me to my questionnaire. It takes me to this screen, which looks like a spreadsheet. The reason for that is you're actually seeing what data has been collected from that questionnaire by clicking on this button. Now you can see that I've collected no data yet, which means no one's filled in my questionnaire. However, these are my questions. I remember asking this question, which of the following portable devices do you own? Uh, are you a teacher or a student? Have you ever downloaded an app for your portable device, etc.? They are my questions, so I know that this is my questionnaire. To actually get to the stage where you go back to the questionnaire to edit it, all you need to do is go to this form button here at the top and click on edit form. That will load up this familiar screen, which is what we were using in the last session to create our questionnaire. So I've reopened my questionnaire and I need to scan through it and see if I've made any mistakes. So, are you a teacher or a student? Which of the following portable devices do you own? Have you ever downloaded an app for your portable device? Have you ever downloaded an app for your... Now you can see what I've done here is I've actually asked the same question twice. Have you ever downloaded an app for your portable device? This question should not be here because this question should only have a yes, no, or not applicable answer. It shouldn't have an other. So I've asked the same question twice and this is the wrong one. So by reopening the form, I've been able to check it and then I can make changes. So here, I'm just going to go across to this trash can and I'm going to delete that question. It'll ask if I want to discard the question, press okay, and then I continue checking my questionnaire. Have you paid for an app? Take a look at the new apps. Okay, this all looks fine. Yep, that all looks fine. Now, I've also applied my book's modern theme, which I'm happy about. If I just want to check what it will look like when people fill it in, um, I can click on this, this link here. So let me just explain that. What you're seeing here is the questionnaire as you design it. However, when I click on this link, this will show me the questionnaire and what it will look like when people fill it in. So you can see there's a difference. This is what it will look like when people fill it in. And this is what it looks like. Oops. Just go back. And this is what it looks like when I'm designing it. What I now need to do, now I'm happy with everything, is to distribute this questionnaire. Now you have several ways of doing that, but I'm just going to explain two ways of doing it, okay? There are these options up here as well, but I don't want to explain those in too much detail. So I'm just going to show you two ways that you could possibly distribute this questionnaire to the people in your class and or teachers in your school, okay? Now, if you're using uh, Google Apps or a generic username um, for Google, you should have this button here at the top which says email this form. Now if I click on that button, this window should appear. Now, depending on whether you're using a generic Google account or a Google Apps account, this bit will work slightly different. So for example, if you're using a Google Apps account, 
when you type in the two column here, um, everyone who has an account in this Google Apps account, the usernames will start appearing. So for example, Damien Griffiths is a, a person who is at my school, it's a teacher at my school. And they are appearing because that user also has a Google Apps account at dbs.ae. Um, so I can choose that person and then I can start typing in another person. And this is another person who has a Google Apps account at my school. So I can continue to start, I can start writing the names of the people in my class and they will start appearing with their usernames. So if you're using a Google Apps account, all you need to do is start writing down the names of the people in your class. Their usernames will automatically appear as you start writing. You can click on them and then it will create for you a list of people that you want to send it to. If you're not using a Google Apps account, then what you'll need to do is you'll just need to find out the email addresses of the people in your class and your teacher's email addresses and type them in this to field. The from is the email address that this email uh, to these people will come from. So that should be your email address. The subject is what will appear on the subject heading for the email when it's sent to these people. And this tick option here is if you keep it ticked, it will actually include the questionnaire in the email. If you untick it, it will just give them a link to um, the questionnaire. So I suggest keeping that ticked. And then once you've done that, you can press send and it will send that questionnaire to all the people in this list. Now I'm not going to press send because I'm also going to show you the other way you can do this. Okay? But if this is the way that you want to do it, then simply press send. All right, so what is the other way we can do this? The other way is by using this link down here at the bottom. What we can potentially do is copy this link by selecting it all and then right clicking on it and going to copy. We could then open up something like Microsoft Word and we could potentially paste this web address into Microsoft Word. Uh, we can then paste a few of these like this into Microsoft Word and then print this out and give our friends this long web address. Now that would work but I think you would have problems with that because this is such a long web address that people will probably make mistakes as they enter it. So we're going to use a similar method where instead of actually sending them this long email, uh, sorry, this long web address here at the bottom, we're actually going to use a really nice website which is called goo.gl. So if you go and visit this website, press enter, this is Google's URL shortener. And what that means is you can paste that very long web address into this box by right clicking and pasting. So again, all I've done is I've copied this web address here by right clicking on it and pressing copy. I've then accessed goo.gl website, pasted that address in here, and then I'm going to press shorten. And what that does is it creates for me this really small web address, which I can copy by right clicking on it and pressing copy. And that web address will take me to exactly the same place as this web address. Let me just demonstrate. If I open up a new web page and right click and paste this address, so this short URL into here and press enter, it'll take me to exactly the same place as the long web address. So what I could do now is instead of pasting the long web address into Word, I could paste the short one. I could paste a few of these onto here I could print out this piece of paper, I could cut out these pieces and I could give them each to a friend who can then go home and access this at home and complete my questionnaire. Or I can print them out and give a few copies to teachers as well so that they can complete my questionnaire. So what you need to do now is you need to choose the best method of distributing this questionnaire uh, to your friends in your class and your teachers. Once you've chosen the best method, make sure that you get them to fill it in. Uh, and once they've filled it in, I'll then show you in the next video how you access all of that data 
and then create graphs from it.